Question number three says that given below are the seats won by different political parties in the polling outcome of a state assembly elections. We have been given with different political parties A, B, C, D, E and F and the seats won by each of them. We have to draw a bar graph to represent the polling results and then we have to find out which political party won the maximum number of seats. The bar graph that we get is this. In this bar graph we can see that we have taken the political parties on the X axis and the number of seats won by them on the Y axis. On the y-axis, we have taken a scale of one unit representing 10 seats. On the x-axis, we have maintained equal widths for all the bars and we have maintained equal gaps between them. Now, as seen in the bar graph, we can easily say that party A has won the maximum number of seats. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.